Hello to all my friends out there. Hi, you guys. Well, summer has arrived. It's very hot here. Uh, it's been hot, but it's hotter now. And this doesn't let up until November. I hope everyone is doing okay. This video is, if you're not a cheapskate, now is the time to become one. So what I want to do, a lot of people don't think I'm a cheapskate but you're just the people who don't know me. Uh, in my life, I was a hairstylist, and if you knew what was good for you, you were very careful with your money. So what I have here is uh, one cup of shelf-stable milk and one tablespoon of vinegar. Here is the vinegar. So I heated the milk, and... Um, Where's the shelf stable milk? I need that. Dollar Tree. Uh, what I want to do is after I use this shelf stable milk, I want to uh, go to uh, all, uh, all um, evaporated milk in cans. It's more durable. Also, I want to eat. So this is going to be a nice little batch of cottage cheese for me. So I'm just pressing it towards the middle carefully to uh, to press out the the moisture gently. This is the same way you make uh, tofu. What you do is you get soy milk and you add like one cup. It depends how much you want to make, and uh, you add rice wine vinegar. I'll make some of that one of these days when I get around to it. Okay, so what we have here is a whey. So what I want to make is I want to make some uh, potato soup. So I need to heat the whey and I want to add some uh, chopped chives. This is going to be some potato soup. So um, this is not senseless cheapness. This is just being very, very thrifty. Why? So you don't end up with no food in your house. So you don't end up homeless. And so you don't lose your car. Amongst other bad things that could possibly happen. Okay, I have a little uh, onion. You can use your own discretion, whatever you like. Salt and pepper is fine if that's all you have. I use about half as much onion because I have chives. Okay, so uh, now I want a little uh, garlic powder since I have some. Uh, usually I make this with um, regular potatoes, but um, I'll leave my salt and pepper out. But um, I don't have any right now, so um, I want to demonstrate um, some of the stuff I do. Okay, there's a good there's a good channel. Jan from New York City saves money, and she says, "Know your numbers. Basically, know how much money you have. Know your numbers." Um, yeah, that's a good idea. How about this one? know what's going to happen that way you know your numbers and you know what you have to do so what is going to happen uh either a bad bad recession or a depression okay when i was young i was fortunate um i was able to go to a good college for uh three quarters so that was like three uh semesters Here's some good iced tea I made decaf, just a half a cup because, you know, I have the insomnia. So at that time was a recession and the teacher said, you know what's going to happen? And we're all going, what? What is going to happen is no one is going to send their children to college. Today, I was trying to help this guy on the street. Let me tell you. There are college age people and that is the last of their problems. They're just trying to survive. It's that bad. 
Um, uh, so this was when I was 19 years old. You know what's going to happen? Okay, uh, now I'm 68, 49 years ago. Okay, my ex-husband was in the Vietnam War. And for years after that, oh, oh, you know, at our house, we did not trust the government. You know, the government was out to get us. That was, you know, the way we saw it for years. My son came along. And he was in high school and I made him take some computer classes. That was a smart thing I did. And he said, Mom, I can't find a single, you know, he could find so much information on everybody else. But he, he says, I can't find anything on you and Dad. And I go, yeah, that's because we were guarding everything with our lives because, you know, can't trust the government. And uh, it's probably going to come to that again. Okay, so uh, now let's say you want to erase your footsteps these days. One thing, you can't be on the social media every day like I am. Two, you can't be on a device like your phone. My phone will tell you exactly where I am. And three, you don't want to have any credit. You don't want to have a telephone number, any of that. So what we want to do now is we want to kind of erase this footprint a lot of us have. So, okay, so I have one cup of whey, I have one cup of, of milk, and now I just want to start adding some potatoes to give me a nice creamy type Walmart. I bought these the other day. Uh, went after, uh, I hate it because these don't come in the uh, plastic. So what we want to do now is we want to... Uh, we want to watch what we're doing, basically. What are we doing every day? You know, like, what What are you, you saying? See me, see me? Well, uh, that's not smart. And so I have some, um, some pineapple to go with my um, cottage cheese. So uh, you can make this stuff as thick or as thin as you possibly want it. Okay, so know your numbers, know what's going to happen. Okay, so what's going to happen if you're smart, stop spending. Just stop. Not about saving, just stop spending. That's the best way to do it. Um, I used to work in salons, and honestly, many times I would think, do you have a death wish? I remember one, she got a new car. She, can't, she quit work. That was not smart. She came dragging back. She had flea bites. You know, we're in the beauty business. <laughs> it wasn't funny. It was anything but funny. And, uh, you know, she came dragging back to work. And I thought, oh, good Lord, here goes my damn job, you know. This was my life. So I'm just, you know, I'm just stirring this around. So, okay, so I have some pretty good mashed potato soup looking good here. So instead of, you know, quitting your job, you should have been sitting in your job every single day praying to Allah to send you some customers. People used to go, well, you know, all you do is sit around. And I thought, yeah, I see you're back to help yourself to my clients. Those are my clients. Yeah, right. Okay, so now, possible hazards I see. One, you can't drink the water. Now it's got E. coli in it. So I am refilling my water. Two, okay, so I it's time to eat my Velveeta cheese. So two, uh, possible big fires, not possible, more than possible, more than prob probable. Um, and that little bit of cottage cheese in there is delicious. Take a look at this. Mm. After you make this, I need my butter. What do I do with it? Hmm. That's okay, there's more where that came from, in the freezer. Okay, 
So I have a little butter in my freezer at all times because this really needs that little bit of, of butter in there to give it a little good fat. I mean, if you don't have any, you know, and times are tough, just go without. Uh-oh, it's frozen. Okay, possible big, po uh, possible big, highly probable big fires. I mean, this is fire country, you guys. We're talking like, uh oh not as big, uh, well, you can't say. Uh, who knows what's going to happen. Okay, so I want to start eating this up because I bought a long time ago, but it's expiring at the end of the month. It'll be good for a while, though. So it'll be good with a little cheese. So if you don't have that much meat and you have cheese, you can get by. All right, so, okay, um, power outages. That is why I am not, you know, I'm surprised we didn't have them with Hurricane Hillary. Guess what happens when, you know, something comes up. You can't get, you can't get a generator. They're gone. They're all sold out. All right, let's have a goodly amount of cheese. Now, this is good. I'll be making macaroni and cheese. I'll be making, you know, cheese stuff. Uh, another, looks like, possibly, another COVID. And I heard some crazy stuff. If we get another COVID, don't wear a mask. Okay, that's what you want to do. If you don't think you need a mask when we have a viral pneumonia, also the source of the COVID is the same as the last time. This is a, a trade war. People try to kill each other, you know. Uh, that's why I have almost no sympathy uh, for them. You know, they did, they killed my poor old uncle with the COVID. That's fine. He was old anyway. Well, hey, you know, we, we were kind of, we kind of liked my uncle. Okay, uh, utilities, unaffordable. So you know your numbers. You know you're a senior on a fixed income. Uh, people could be sitting in their house dying of the heat or freezing, whichever is bad. Um, so, okay, so basically, if you know your numbers and you know it's good for yourself, you're going to stop spending. So I have been stockpiling just for a time such as this. Because I don't have a death wish. I don't have fleas. I did have a couple tarantulas. <laughs> Oh, yummy. This looks good. All right, let's have a nice little batch of potato soup. The whey is making a little empty, but that is fine. You can use all milk, but my uh, cottage cheese, so I want to put some uh, cheese and some bacon. Okay, so here is the potato soup. Okay, so I won't be suffering. we do everything we possibly can to avoid something. Let's see. Here is a nice little um, bowl of salsa that I saved up from going to Taco Bell. Uh, I'll need this, so we'll take that out for, for in a minute. All right, let me see. What can I do? Let's put it on a little plate. So you guys saw how I made my little bit of homemade uh, cottage cheese. And here I have some pineapple in its own juice. So this is a very, very thrifty meal. You can eat this for breakfast or for lunch. Here we go. Uh, cheese is a good meat substitute. That is good with tomatoes and uh, salt and pepper. All right, so now, um, now, 
They're saying, uh, where's your consumers? The consumers are gone. Why? Possible people are buried in credit card debt and student loans are resuming. Possibly. People have bought food and now they plan on eating it up. And uh, as the price of food goes up to the end of the year, we're just going to sit in our house and eat it up and pay our cards down. You know, just stop spending. That's what I think a lot of people are doing. War. The war is causing inflation. The price of the production of everything is going up. They're producing less. The profits need to be maintained so the price goes up. The government tax the rich. The rich inflate the poor. Another COVID is on the way. Less credit. Okay, during I see a lot of businesses like I went to buy a bracelet and she said she couldn't run the card because... I don't know why, but we're seeing more of this kind of stuff. Price of shortening in oil and lard going up. And countries are not exporting food. Like which countries? India is not exporting rice. Ukraine and Russia is not exporting grain. Argentina, corn and wheat. All the stuff people eat, that's all. Okay, now, no, no, no. Think about these uh, foods. Walmart bread, 149. Here it is, 11 sandwiches. I ate 11 sandwiches. Peanut butter, Dollar Tree, 125. That, so the bread for two pieces is 12.5%. 12, 12 the peanut butter is 14%. Uh, and the jam from Dollar Tree, I bought two kinds, strawberry and grape, is nine cents. So a peanut butter sandwich is 30, 36 cents. And one cup of shelf stable milk is 31 cents for a total of 67 cents. Also, there's peanut butter and jam with an apple and some graham crackers, that's cheap too. And that, okay, now eggs, if you buy them at Dollar Tree six, that's 20.8 cents, 21 cents uh, at Dollar Tree. Uh, two pieces of bread, 25 cents. So that is 47 cents, eggs and bread. Okay, uh, oatmeal, I buy the way for, I find this stuff to be uh, really good better than the dollar store i guess it's fresher okay this was three dollars and 98 cents uh so it's 30 servings 13 cents each one cup milk 31 cents one tablespoon raisins nine cents so that is a 53 cent meal you can get by on that now baked beans so i have pork and beans And uh, you can use bacon, hot dog, sausage, or Vienna sausages. You can use one tablespoon of maple syrup or molasses or pancake syrup. One teaspoon of mustard. You can use ketchup. So I saved all my ketchups for my baked beans. I could put those in my baked beans or tomatoes or tomato sauce. Now, with the baked beans, you would make your baked beans. I'm going to give you the recipe. You would put it on toast, and you would eat it with uh, cold peaches. That one of, the, one of the followers told me about it, and that really hits the spot. You can cook it on top of the stove, or you can cook it in the oven. You can bake it, whichever you prefer. It's going to be good any other way. So uh, we have the potato soup and we have uh, Spanish rice. So this kind is really good. And you can see they've used mixed vegetables in this one, but you can use olives, cheese, and bell peppers. That's gonna give you a nice meal and you can put hamburger in it. So we've got the potato soup, we've got the uh, baked beans, and we've got the Spanish rice. So that's some cheat meals for us to think about. Look how big my celery is. I'm gonna plant it out in the backyard. All right, 
No. To greatly reduce your expenses, reduce driving. I can, I can easily do that. I can walk. Do I want to end up homeless? Do I want to end up foodless? Do I want to end up um, carless? No. And out here, like today I have these people honking. I will not drive, just drive past merging people because they will, they will, call. I have been killed, so almost killed so many times. So uh, I can wash my own car. I can grow my food. Okay, today I wanted to buy insecticide and uh, fertilizer. And I realized that this stuff that won't come out of the thing, I realized how I could dilute it. And my son is going to contribute rabbit droppings for my fertilizer. So that cost me nothing. Okay, I'm trying to grow uh, cherry tomatoes, and you can grow those year-round and indoors. Pepper, squash, and onions. And with onions, you can just put your green onions, the root part, and, and they'll grow up. Um, I, you know, recycle my little plants. And so, um, also, don't let anyone tell you uh, what you should do and what you should buy and what you shouldn't, especially if you're on a fixed income right now. Maybe what is really uh, the prudent thing to do is go to a food bank. I think I'm going to do that. Why would I, I take a chance to put myself at risk? I mean, there are seniors. I saw a couple that was living in their car uh, tonight. I don't wish to join them. I, I'm rather attached to my house. <laughs> My birds wouldn't like it either. Okay, you babies, you want to say goodbye real quick? Come on, babies. They wait for this moment. Okay, babies, say hi to the YouTube. Oh, no. You guys, they have been so bad. They have been actually biting each other. Can you say hi? Yeah, biting. Sweetie Pie the Blue One is the worst. He is biting Sunny on the tail. Okay, you guys, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you tomorrow, and God bless you all.